the what should be the payment term in the sale contract? I think the first one is uh, it has to uh, accurate and uh, re reflect exactly what the what uh, the, the party want to uh, to to buy or to sell in the contract. Yeah, I mean here it's about the payment term, the payment method. How can the the purchaser pay to the seller? Uh, they they can pay by uh, credit or uh, uh, in cash, uh, and uh, then they can but uh, deposit and then um, pay the uh, remaining amount later. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. But for a very big transaction, the value or the consideration of the deal is, uh, I, have, I have done some deal with like um, around 600 billion Vietnamese dollars. So how can they pay in cash? And if, a purchaser is a foreign investor. They want to go into Vietnam to invest into your company. They want to buy shares of capital contribution in your company. So how can you assure that they will buy the shares and you buy the capital contribution in your company? Okay, how can we make sure that? You can imagine that. Um, they, they cannot like go into the see you and then they buy the shares. Never. They need to do the due diligence, right? Um, yeah, they need to do the due diligence. So what is due diligence? Nguyễn V, do you have any idea about due diligence? Yeah, um, I think due 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 uh diligence is the re reasonable steps taken by a person in order to um satisfy a legal requirement um by to buy or sell something study about the legal documents for the purchaser to buy the shares just about the legal documents, the legal requirements. Uh, so thank you. Uh, I want to get another one from um, Nhan, Thanh Nhan. What is uh, due diligence? Um, I guess. Due diligence a on investigation. Um, to uh, satisfy a legal document or legal requirement. Um, especially in uh, buying or selling. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just like what your friend